So I can't tell you how many times I get asked, like, how many balloons do you bring? How many balloons did you use? FYI, it does not matter how many balloons you use, right? It matters about the number of packs that you buy. So when it comes to your pricing, do not charge based on how many balloons you use. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my Inspiring Designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell because YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every week. So if you're interested in learning how to do this beautiful balloon garland, please keep watching. The first step that you're going to do is create a 12 inch and 19 inch cluster and you're going to put six balloons together. I actually slowed it down for you so that way you can follow along as I do this. But for now, we're just going to put the colors together. Since launching my balloon business again, I've definitely learned some unique techniques that have given me the opportunity to actually charge higher prices with clients. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed because the next few videos I'm going to reveal not only how much would I charge for this balloon garland, but how I'm able to charge higher prices with this strategy. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take two duplets, which is a 19 inch and a 12 inch balloon and put them together. Then you're going to take another duplet and put it into this quad, which then creates a cluster. This has been a really good technique for me with my balloon garlands and I actually love it. Then you're going to take the next of the largest balloons. It's the easiest for me. And we're going to tie those to a different color of cluster. So we'll do the red and the purple in this video. Next, you're going to cross the balloons. This is just my technique and favorite way to um, tie the balloons together. I will say this, if you ever watched my last video of how to do a balloon garland when you can charge, I believe it's $500, tying balloons together with their necks was completely difficult for me. So I will tell you this, it takes a lot of work and practice. And if you're not practicing, it will be tough when you do these events. So make sure you're using the necks of the balloons to tie them. But just trust me, you have to practice in order to create this technique to be perfect. The next thing you're going to do is just measure out to make sure you have the right amount of clusters for the wall. I use balloon string when it comes to tying the balloons to the wall. It's just my preference. You can use 260 balloons, you can use fishing wire. I've used zip ties in previous videos, so it's just up to you. I just love the balloon string. I just haven't gotten rid of it since I started. Next, you're going to take a 260 balloon and you're actually going to tie it together. Now, most balloon artists will probably just continue to tie their balloons when it's on the stand or if they need more of it. I haven't learned this technique because I still struggle when my balloons are hanging versus me tying them together. So I just use what works for me and this technique has definitely helped me in the long run. Okay, 
so I wanted to show you what I did. I ended up tying the two 60s um, with each other because it's way more easier for me to like do this versus the balloon string. So whenever I'm tying balloons to balloons, I always use two 60s, but whenever I'm tying balloons to like the wall, it's always balloon string. So I wanted to show you what I did. So as you can see here, I actually tied it here. A lot of people utilize um, 260 balloons to do that. That's fine as well. I've just always done balloon strings. So let's see. Can we see it? Let's see if I can zoom in. So you see what I did there? And then obviously you can't really see it because if we move back, so you really can't see the string. Now, I'm not a huge fan of it going like this. But sometimes it does. Um, I'll probably have to mess with the balloon to kind of give it more of a fuller look. And then obviously I need to add more balloons on the bottom so that way it looks like. So overall, this is like a 14 foot balloon garland um, because this way is seven feet and then from top to bottom, I've measured it before it's eight feet. So seven plus eight was really 15 feet, but I think it's like a little under. But that's what I wanted to show you. I'm obviously going to fix that portion of the balloons. Or you could just leave it and just add balloons to it. But I like to just mess around to get a little look that I want. So let me just do that right now. When creating balloon garlands, you want to make sure that you're messing around with the balloons. Tying the necks to the balloons makes it a lot easier for you to move the balloons. I used to use fishing wire in previous videos, and I found that this technique actually helps me when it comes to putting the garland together and making it how I want it to look versus it being in fishing line and I have to deal with whatever is there. Here is a closer look at me tying the balloons neck to neck. question I get asked so much is how many balloons do I use in each garland and as you can see I already used these balloons prior to another event and I will discuss at the end of the video like what my concept is but as you can see these are still left over and granted I didn't fill up the balloon garland like I would for a client but I'm just again just trying to show you my technique but I only used the, the 19 inch balloon garland, uh, the baby pink one ran out, but that's it. I still have like extra and that's two balloon garlands that I've used it for. Next we're going to take our hand pump and we are going to make five inch clusters with our five inch balloons. Now I tend to do different patterns when it comes to my five inch clusters, I'll put two together then I'll put three together and then I'll put four together. This way I can have a variety of looks when it comes to putting it in the garland versus it being so symmetrical when it comes to you being uniform. You can do whatever you like. If you haven't taken anything away from this video, use the technique and strategies that work for you. That's the one thing I've learned about balloon garlands. The next thing we're going to do is use our 260 balloons and we're going to create I guess like two clusters on each end. I always start with the end that doesn't have the hole because it doesn't get air and you can, I don't know, just getting air in the 260 balloons is annoying to me. <laughs> now the one thing I will say, a lot of people think you need the same color. You can, but I've learned that over time it doesn't really matter. I tend to use the light colors with the light balloons and the dark colors with the dark balloons, but that's really it. I only get a black or white 
um, 260s and I make it work so use what you can if you subscribe to my channel the next video that you'll watch are all the strategies that I'm going over just a little more in depth on how to create a balloon garland just like how you're seeing today. Another thing you want to be weary of is the 260 balloon showing, like one's there, one's there. This is why we fill it up. Honestly, depending on how you look at the balloon garland, you can't really tell. For my clients, I never, ever, ever, ever want them to see anything. It has to be like an illusion. So we have space here to fill, we have space here to fill, here to fill, and then maybe even some there. But the top looks pretty dope. I mean, there's like one spot right here. So you want to be mindful when it comes to those, like if you use fishing line or if you use anything else, that's what you have to be mindful of. Remember that five inch clusters are there as fillers. So you wanna make sure you can utilize however many you want. I tend to use either one group or two group of the clusters put together with each color in my garland. In this garland, I just used one per color, but as you continue to watch, I use actually more towards the bottom. I can't tell you how many times I get asked like how many balloons do you bring how many balloons did you use FYI it does not matter how many balloons you use right it matters about the number of packs that you buy so when it comes to your pricing do not charge based on how many balloons you use these packs I was able to get out two garlands but if I want to make it fuller like the Disney one that I did in my last video I would have used more but the more colors you use the less balloons you use also but it's still you have to buy those balloons right so I ran out of the 19 inch baby pink so the next time someone wants it for their either baby shower Valentine's Day or birthday whatever like these are things you want to take into account when it comes to your pricing so stop undercharging like for real <laughs> Do you like my outfit? I got cute for y'all for this Valentine's Day intro. 